Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. In this video I have for you super sweet fragrances. The most delicious, super sweet, the sweetest fragrances you will ever ever find anywhere. Basically their number one accord is sweet. They are sweet before anything else. They're very, very, very sweet. Sweet fragrances are very popular. You know, I know men love sweet fragrances on women. Women love sweet fragrances. So if you want to find out what they are and hear all about them, just continue to watch. So you guys, I'm still not feeling 100%. I am just barely recovering, but I wanted to film this video for you guys. Pardon my kind of uh, weird voice because my voice is still a little rough. Anyway, I have for you some super, super sweet fragrances, you guys. I mean, these are the most sweet fragrances you will ever smell anywhere. I have a lot of them. I have about over 30 fragrances actually. So I'm not going to do my usual thorough, you know, descriptions giving you a full understanding of the fragrance. I'm going to try and go a little faster and I will just give you the key information. And by the way, I did another video about sweet fragrances some time ago. It was very popular. But I only highlighted 10 fragrances in that video. I have so much more than that. I've acquired so much more than that since then. Um, I have the, some of the, the fragrances from that video, but I have a lot more, a lot, lot more new, newer sweet fragrances that I want to share with you. So yeah, let's get started. Now, I have to start my sweet fragrances video with this fragrance because it is the most delicious sweet, sweet fragrance I've ever smelled. This is a true gourmand, you guys, and in the true gourmand fashion, this fragrance is very sweet. This is none other than Serge of Italica. Oh, this is the most, oh my God, this is the most oh, beautiful, super sweet little bit milky, little lactonic, almondy, delicious, a little caramelly fragrance, you guys. This just is like, it smells like a sugar cookie or an almond sugar cookie. If there was such thing as an almondy sugar cookie, um, I want to say a biscotti, but biscotti is not as sweet as this fragrance, you know, very much like a sugar cookie, it has a slight snickerdoodle vibe too. Um, a sugar cookie with almond dipped in milk and this has a lot of musks too so I always like to say that it's like a almondy sugar cookie dipped in milk sprayed with musk. That's kind of how this smells. It's the most delicious gourmand fragrance ever. It's a, a revolutionary kind of a masterpiece of a gourmand fragrance. It's super delicious, super sweet. It smells very much like a perfume version of a very something very delicious. I absolutely love it. Super sweet, 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 sweet fragrance, but in the most delicious way possible. And the next one I want to share with you is the most delicious date fragrance, you know, date, what you eat, the dates. Um, the Middle Eastern comes from the Middle East, not date like going on a date, you know what I mean? This one is a newer to my collection. It's very, very new. I just added it to my collection. Dardis de Misfat by Uninoi Nomad. You guys, this one is the most delicious, oh, beautiful date fragrance. It's super sweet. I, I think it's very sweet. It smells delicious. There are some citrus, uh, a bit of a citrus undertone to it, but it's very like, which is nice. The citrus kind of cuts through the sweetness a little bit, but the, the dates and there's like, like a rose essence smell in here with the dates with, and the rose essence. It's absolutely delicious. I absolutely love it. If you are a, a fan of date fragrances, if you're looking for something 
super delicious like a delicious date fragrance Here's the one for you. Um, and there's a little hint of almond in here too. It's absolutely delicious, you guys. I love that rose essence scent. It's almost like a Middle East and a delicious rose uh, water scented date. Kind of delicious Middle Eastern dessert, you know what I mean? It smells absolutely delicious. Absolutely love it. If you want a discount on this fragrance, I have it down in the description box. Go check it out. I will link everything down in the description box for you and I will put the discount code for you for that fragrance. I have to include this in the main list, not in the honorable mentions, although this is being discontinued. The only reason why is because this you can actually still buy it on the Mikhailov website. So I'm gonna still say it's still available, so I have to mention this one with the main ones because this is one of my most favorite top 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 sweet fragrances in the world you guys this is you know uh, with surge of italica this is my next favorite my other favorite super beautiful sweet fragrance this is of course mampa cristal by Mikolov. One of my beautiful subbies, after I did my Mikolov house review, by the way, if you missed it, catch it. It's an amazing house review. I did, I've did. i reviewed a lot of Mikolov fragrances for you. Check that out. I'll link it up here and down in the description box. After my Mikolov review, one of my beautiful subscribers alerted me to the fact that it's actually still available on Mikolov website. Like, fingers crossed, it's still available when this video goes up. But apparently they still had the 100 ml bottle, which I think now sold out. But the 30 ml bottles, these little ones, they're still available. Guess what I did? I bought, after my subby told me about it, I bought two more. Yay! So I have now a backup and two little backups, 100 ml backup and two 30 ml backups. Yes, I'm that crazy. It's how good this fragrance is, you guys. This is the most beautiful, delicious, sweet fragrance, you guys. This has that caramel in here that makes it so delicious. I think it comes from toffee. Ugh, this has loads of vanilla and the caramel and the amber that makes make it all so beautifully sweet. That vanilla and rose combination is also such always such a delicious match made in heaven it opens with some like warm spice like cinnamon some pink pepper with that bubbliness of the pink pepper trust me when i tell you this there's something so divine it's like pixie dust or something in this fragrance that smells so beautiful that gorgeous divine and mikhailov dna through and through in this fragrance absolutely delicious you have to have this one run and grab it it might still be available on the Mikolov website i have a discount code for you down in the description box so before you order make sure to grab that discount code go down in the description box i hope they're still available the 30 ml bottles go grab them they are going to be gone very soon and once they're gone it's gone so yeah Mikolov mampa fa cristal next i have a very popular sweet fragrance this is very 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 popular this is a cult favorite Everybody knows about it. This is, of course, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. It is one of the most deliciously sweet fragrances. Some people find it a little bit too, too takingly sweet. I personally don't. I think it smells absolutely beautiful. It's a very feminine, super delicious, super sweet fragrance. It literally has like really sweet notes, like literally has sugar. I believe it also has some marshmallow. It has some beautiful um, citrus florals and white florals like neroli, orange blossom, there's jasmine, a little bit of rose, I believe, maybe a little powderiness from some powdery floral notes. Absolutely divine. It's very sweet, but in a very soft, feminine way. I don't find it too, too sweet, but some people say that it's too sweet for them, but a lot of people absolutely love this fragrance it's a huge compliment getter every time i wear it it's not a, a, a projecting fragrance it doesn't project too far uh, it is long lasting i wouldn't say too long lasting about five six hours it doesn't project too much also but 
in sort of cl in closed spaces like uh um, you know, close quarters, you know, that when you're in a room with people or something's a little bit closer, I get a lot of compliments with this fragrance. Absolutely beautiful. And I got a pair, talk about its sister next. This is Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. This is also just beautiful. Not as sweet as the original, but it's still very sweet. It has a little bit more rose, so it's a little bit more sophisticated I would say uh, a little bit more grown up in a way also a big compliment getter um, absolutely divine the notes uh, the composition is very similar then we have Oriana kind of like sort of similar to um, love don't be shy but not really um, you know people tend to say they're very similar but they're well, they have some similarities, but not exactly. This one has a lot more beautiful citruses like mandarin, orange, and, you know, other citruses that sort of cut through the sweetness a little bit more. This is sweet too, like very sweet, but not toothachingly sweet because of that reason. Yes, it is still considered a very sweet fragrance, but not like tooth achingly so, but it's super sweet, sweet still. This has some beautiful like juicy fruity notes like raspberry and black currant and stuff that makes it a little lighter. It's got a gorgeous whipped cream note that makes it milky and lactonic. That's like the delicious part of it. There's marshmallow in this fragrance. There's obviously, you know, musk as any nice fragrance would have. Yeah, it has the marshmallow, the orange blossom. Yeah, it tends to be sweet, but there's there are differences to this fragrance. This is a little bit more fruity, I feel like slightly juicier. It's a little bit more citrusy, so you can actually smell the citruses cutting through that sweetness. Yes, it's still sweet, but not too achingly so. So yeah, this is a beautiful, feminine, beautiful fragrance. I would say this is like an all-day wear type of fragrance. You can wear day to night. I like to wear this mostly in the spring, to be honest. Um, I do wear this in the warmer months too. This can be worn in the warmer months. But, well, when I do wear it in the warmer months, I wear it at night time. But I think it's also very good for colder months too. I like to wear it like in the winter as well. But mostly spring, um, that sort of fragrance. You can even wear it now in the fall. This is beautiful Oriana. Speaking of Parfums de Marley fragrances, I have another PDM fragrance here. This is Safanade. This is a super sweet fragrance as well, but this one is a beautiful white and yellow floral fragrance. This has loads of beautiful white and yellow florals like Orange Blossom, there's um, Ylang Ylang, there's some, I think also some other florals like Iris. It has loads and loads of vanilla in the base, which is what I think makes it very sweet. But there must be some other sweet notes because I tell you, this one smells very sweet. This has um, like a juicy opening with that juicy pear. The dry down is very sandalwoody, very kind of sensual. There's amber in the base too, complementing the vanilla. Safanade, super beautiful feminine fragrance, uh, I would say for summertime. Next I have a, another very sweet fragrance, one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I do love to wear this more in the summertime, but at nighttime. Uh, in the evening and not nighttime. This is Tiziana Terenzi's Tibet. This one, you guys, is that super sweet, strong fragrance. It's quite projecting, quite long lasting. It smells strong like an extrait, you know. This has got like candy, like literally candy in the base. Whether it's, I think it's like some kind of candy in the base, loads of vanilla, which is what makes it very sweet. There's some coconut, but the thing about this fragrance that I love the most is that it has this unique synthetic fragrance note or fantasy note, I should say, a, um, warm sand, you know, warm sand note that gives it that sort of like summertime tropical island resort date night kind of feel, you know, absolutely beautiful. This has loads of exotic florals, some coconut, a little bit of, you know, citrus, not a lot, like tiny hint of green in here. 
it's a, a quite musky fragrance absolutely love it it's more of a summertime date night kind of fragrance if you're like especially on a summer vacation on a tropical island that's the go-to for me i oh that also has a lot of like peach a juicy peach note in the opening that's absolutely stunning speaking of date night i have another designer fragrance that i typically like to wear on date night it's uh got some cherry in it so i love that like every time there's cherry in a fragrance i feel like that fragrance tends to be super sweet this one is of course scandal by night by jean paul gautier you guys this one is absolutely sweet like very sweet this is as you know, this is a flanker to the original Scandal, and the original is a honey fragrance. As you know, it's very sweet as well, but this one is also very sweet. I would say this is even sweeter, and again, this also has loads of honey. There's only honey in the opening, uh, some beautiful citruses, there's some cherry, some... Uh, tonka bean and some vanilla in the base loads of vanilla so that honey and vanilla and tonka bean all make it very sweet and then the cherry the sweet cherry a uh, lot of beautiful white florals like tuberose orange blossom um you know that sort of uh, notes absolutely beautiful a nice a sort of uh colder months like fall and winter day and night kind of fragrance next i have another super sugary super sweet fragrance again the nighttime fragrance nighttime go out sort of day and night type fragrance this is diesel lover dose red kiss this one you guys also has literally sugar in it uh, it opens with sugar and, and then there's a juicy blackcurrant note with some apple and some citrus. Uh, this has got cacao powder. There's some hazelnut, so it's a very beautiful sort of gourmet fragrance. Some orange blossom, uh, loads of amber, some patchouli. Very like a, a thick, heavy gourmet fragrance that's only good for colder months and i would recommend nighttime wear with this one it is definitely a nighttime fragrance then i have the most popular cherry fragrance in the world that nothing has ever beaten it yet not yet not quite this is of course tom ford lost cherry like i told you guys cherry fragrances typically tend to be very sweet that's just how the composition tends to be now this is no exception this is that beautiful this is the original cherry almond combination you guys that everybody is copying now now this was the original revolutionary cherry fragrance with that perfect complementary notes cherry and the almond this is a very boozy fragrance too so it's like cherry almondy and it's boozy this has got cherry on like top and the middle i think so it's very cherry like um, and this there are complimenting there's some juicy plum it's very sweet because there's loads of vanilla in the base uh three types of vanilla there's vanilla vanilla benzoin and then there's the tonka bean so it's super sweet there's some purple some some woody notes some sandalwood you know beautiful sensual sandalwood uh, spices like cloves it's like a very complex fragrance you guys but absolutely beautiful it smells absolutely divine a big compliment getter yes it it lasting power isn't the best i would say like for me it's like pushing three four hours but i don't mind respraying this it's actually got a nice scent bubble i wouldn't i wouldn't say that it doesn't project that much i mean it projects nicely but a smaller scent bubble but absolutely divine beautiful fragrance I would say colder month fragrance, fall and winter, nighttime wear, Tom Ford Last Cherry. Next I have a really sweet fragrance. I mean, now this one's super sweet. This reminds me of something. I'll tell you what it is. This is Yes I Am by Cacharelle. This one, you guys, to me, let me spray this one because this one is a little difficult to smell without spraying. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. This one is so very, 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 very sweet. Um, super sweet fragrance. It's got this sort of warmth about it. It's got like gourmet notes like caramel. There's loads of vanilla. 
there's milk in here that makes it very milky and lactonic really what it reminds me of is a warm cup of chai tea now if you can imagine a very sweet like you've you've had chais from you know coffee houses some of them are really sweet it's really kind of what this smells like to me it's it's like a warm cup of chai tea sweet chai tea on a a, a cold uh, fall day you know like like today that's just really what it reminds me of. There's something very warm about this because there are some beautiful warm spices in here, which makes it smell even more like a chai because like masala chais tend to be spicy. This has some beautiful citruses, some fruity notes like raspberry. There is a lot of amber. There are white floral notes, gardenia, jasmine, orange blossom. I, like I said, spice notes are, are there as well, like cardamom, which makes it nice and warm. This has low of vanilla from three different vanilla notes there's vanilla vanilla tonka bean and benzoin so it's very vanilla centric which is what makes it very sweet and then there are some like you know woody notes like sandalwood which is perfect for this fragrance it really reminds me of a warm cup of chai tea that's what it reminds me of yes i am by Catcherall. very sweet Next I have a sweet woody fragrance. You guys know what this is. Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry. Again a cherry fragrance. So super. Oh I love the way this fragrance smells you guys. I love to wear this at night time. Like, like when there are Netflix cozy cuddle Netflix date night type nights or to even bed. It's some, there's something very cocooning about it, very comforting about it. It's very beautiful too. It's sweet, but very beautiful, beautiful cherry fragrance. This has got, of course, cherry. They call it burning cherry. I don't really smell anything like a burning aspect of it. Um, there's like a slight hint of like, I don't know, some kind of spice almost about it in the opening this has got praline so it's very sweet there's tonka bean so a lot of like a deep vanilla scent from that tonka bean so yeah that praline and the tonka bean very sweet this has like ambretolite this has peru balsam there's vetiver a little bit there's some palo santo for a woody note it's it's a it's a beautiful woody cherry fragrance but it's very sweet. I would say it's a very woody sweet fragrance. This is Kali Love Fest Burning Cherry. Then I also have this uh, oldie but goodie. This is absolutely stunning. Huge compliment getter. Every time I wear I get a compliment. It's a beautiful sweet caramelly fragrance, white floral and caramelly fragrance. This is Victor and Rolf Bonbon Couture. Uh, the original bonbon is sweet too, but this one is even sweeter, I think. It's like, oh, so good. This is such a strong fragrance, you guys. For the money you pay, you really get your money's worth. This projects like crazy, lasts forever until you wash yourself, until your clothes are washed, it'll be on you. Huge compliment getter, like I said. This has got some juicy, peach in here there's some mandarin orange there's some neroli loads of caramel and vanilla which makes it super delicious and sweet other white florals like jasmine orange blossom uh this has white tobacco which i think makes it very sexy gives it an edge a little bit of uh, patchouli and a lot of sandalwood too and the dry down is beautiful and sensual very very sweet fragrance from the caramel in here it's the vanilla uh, again huge compliment get I would say it's like a date night go out type of fragrance you can wear it year round but at night time but I tend to wear this more in the colder months but I do wear this even warmer months at night time it's absolutely sexy sexy fragrance you must have this in your collection absolutely stunning very sweet next I have another cherry fragrance BDK Rouge Smoking this one is also a cherry fragrance uh, it's got some beautiful like sort of that almond heliotrope in it with the powderiness you know in here a uh, lot of vanilla, a lot of vanilla, and there's tonka bean and vanilla, so it's very sweet, very, very, very sweet. It's got a little pink pepper, it's got 
you know, orange blossom for another floral, violet, some labdanum in the base, which is a, uh, a fragrance note with like leathery nuances. This has got ambroxan, you know, which keeps it, I think, light. This is, though this is a cherry fragrance, I don't think this is one for like, you know, colder months, not for fall and winter because it's not very thick and dense. It's very sweet though, but I would suggest this mostly for like summertime, nighttime, or even actually daytime, um, or transitional times, like right when summer turns into fall, you know, before it gets too cold. That's the perfect time for this absolutely beautiful. Then I have a super gourmet fragrance again, another beautiful gourmet fragrance. Again, this has been around for a long time. It's from Dolce & Gabbana. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This one, you guys, is a very gourmet fragrance. This has got loads and loads of caramel. Uh, there's coffee, uh, quite a bit of coffee actually. Beautiful florals, like a lot of powdery florals, like violet, iris, there's, oh, you know, orange blossom, there's rose, I feel like orange blossom in a lot of fragrances, uh, some citruses, of course, but it's that heavy dose of caramel and vanilla, it's what makes it so sweet and delicious. Oh, very much a date night, go out type of fragrance, nighttime fragrance. I would say all year round you can wear it nighttime, but especially in the colder months, it's more suitable for colder months because it's a, a kind of a heavy, more dense gourmet fragrance. F very sweet, very delicious, beautiful. If you love a, a, a gourmet with, you know, gourmet notes like coffee and caramel, you would love this fragrance. Next I have a, a kind of a dense fragrance actually for a summertime fragrance. I do like to wear this in the summertime at nighttime only, uh, but this is a fragrance you can wear in the colder months because it's quite, I would say quite dense for a summertime tropical kind of fragrance. This is Tamarindo by Memo Paris, you guys, this one is that summertime fragrance that they, it's supposed to be for summertime, but it's very, very strong. I wouldn't wear it during the day in the summertime. This has got some juicy pineapple, loads of like sort of syrupy citruses and other citruses. There's mandarin orange and then there's like bergamot and other ones too. A lot of citrus like in the opening, some spices like cardamom. This has white and yellow floral notes, jasmine, tuberose, ylang ylang, the usual, you know, that you get in like a summertime sort of tropical fragrance. This has got juicy, fruity notes like peach and all that, but a lot of vanilla in the base because this has vanilla and benzoin. But I feel like it also gets its sweetness from the pineapple and the other fruity notes in here as well. This one is very strong, kind of like in your face fragrance. There's something very sharp about this fragrance that doesn't make sense when you look at the composition. But there is this piercing quality to this fragrance that I wouldn't call it like your typical tropical summertime fragrance. This is definitely for nighttime if you wear it in the summer. Tamarindo by Memo Paris. I feel like this next fragrance doesn't really need much of an introduction. Everybody knows about this fragrance. This is Kayali Vanilla 28. Ah, this one is a beautiful, like super sweet sugary vanilla fragrance there's literally brown sugar in this fragrance so it's very sweet there's of course tonka bean giving it that vanilla deep vanilla scent which i think complements that brown sugar really well it's a very sweet fragrance everybody knows about this fragrance it's a vanilla fragrance that's absolutely like easy to wear like very good for layering you can layer it with anything that you want to bring out the vanilla scent in. Really love that about the Vanilla 28 20, that you can layer it with not only other Kelly fragrances, but also with your other fragrances whenever you feel like, oh, I like the vanilla in this fragrance, but it doesn't smell strong enough, then you can layer it with 28. Now this one, YSL Libre Le Parfum, you guys, is the latest flanker to the Libre line. Now this one, 
Oh, this has loads of citruses that are delicious. This is a vanilla lavender kind of fragrance. This is this was in my vanilla fragrances video, which by the way, I will link up here and down in the description box. If you missed it, my latest vanilla fragrances video. Now this one has that lavender, which gives it that aromatic quality, but this is through and through a very uh, sweet vanilla fragrance with loads of honey. So the not only the vanilla, but the honey makes this very, very, very sweet. There's like a little bit of a zing from that ginger, that loads of citruses with mandarin orange and other citruses, like syrupy citruses in the opening. So good. Yeah, love that like load of honey in the base. There's of course tonka bean and vanilla in the base, so it's very vanilla heavy. Beautiful, love this flanker. I love the entire leap line. The original is my least favorite, but the rest of them, beautiful. Next I have a very interesting gourmet fragrance that I absolutely love because it's different and unique. I don't get to wear this enough times, you guys. I really need to break this out more this fall season it's so stunning it's like a cherryish fragrance this is some there's some cherry in it but it's a very beautiful gourmet i'll tell you what it is this is of course Givenchy live irresistible delicious this one you guys is that cherry fragrance with that french pastry note in the opening that's so delicious it makes it so oh, yummy this has got loads of caramel in the base with a lot a lot a lot of vanilla so it's very sweet there's some almond in here that makes the the gourmet quality even more delicious some florals like rose and orange blossom and stuff but the star in this fragrance i would say are the gourmet notes with the French pastries, the caramel, the, the, the vanilla. And then there's that beautiful cherry, a beautiful, beautiful fra uh, fragrance. It smells like a cherry pastry, but only like the perfume version of it, you guys. Like with maybe like a little almond shaving on top, you know? A cherry Danish kind of, you know what I mean? It's But it sm smells like the perfume version of it. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is Givenchy Live Irresistible Delicios. So this is Kaylee Super Sweet Amber Fragrance. This one is the Kaylee Invite Only Amber 23. This is very sweet from like the a load of vanilla in here and honey and all the sweet notes. This has got tobacco. There's, you know, like honey. There's chocolate. There's gosh like hazelnut there's like all these gourmet notes in here florals like rose in here there's a bit of nargamotha which is like an herbally note that gives it a, a little bit of a that sort of sultriness like on the dry down ton of other notes i'm not gonna go over everything like sandalwood patchouli or a lot a lot of notes but mainly the sweet notes in here like vanilla then there's amber there's honey that so it makes it very, very sweet. And there's cherry too in here, by the way. So it's like a very crazy sort of complex fragrance. To be honest, it's not my favorite amber fragrance of all time or anything like that. It's beautiful, but there's something about the complexity. Like it just went too far. Like I feel like it's too complex, you know, like there's tobacco, there's all these gourmet notes, like there's too much going on, you know what I mean? That's that's like what I don't like about this fragrance. Uh, definitely a fall time fragrance, perfect for fall weather. I would say nighttime wear. Yeah, invite only amber 23. So the next one is from Royal Crown. This is a honey fragrance. This is Royal Crown Ambrosia. I broke the little top thing. It, I dropped another fragrance bottle on top of it and broke it unfortunately it's like usually like this it's really beautiful um yeah so this is the smaller bottle this is of oh so strong this fragrance is so strong it just like whoo goes right through your uh, your head this is super super very very sweet because this has got loads of different gourmet notes you guys this is got of course that bucket of honey and the bucket of vanilla not to mention those two. This is a honey fragrance, like I said. But there's also toffee. There is dates. All these sweet gourmet notes. And then there are juicy, like, fruity notes like plum and pomegranate and melon and all these juicy fruity notes. 
and then it has woody notes like uh, oud, argo wood, and then other like sandalwood and, and I think even cedar type wood. A uh, lot of woody notes in here as well, really I think complement that honey in a way in the base. This has got some olibanum in it, which is like a balsam resin note, which makes it kind of balsamic, you know. So yeah, very, very much like a strong, very strong, super sweet gourmet honey dominant fragrance. I would say honey is what you smell quite a bit the most. Um, perfect for fall time, I would say this fragrance. Again, a nighttime fragrance. It's very strong. Remember, this is not to be worn, worn in warm weather whatsoever. And even fall time, it's a nighttime fragrance in my opinion. Then we have this one, uh, Delice by Stephanie de Bugin. You guys, this one has lots of dried fruits and loads of vanilla, which is what makes this one very sweet and candy, cotton candy. So that's what makes it very sweet. This is a bit of a, uh, even though there are like gourmet notes like candy in here, literally dried fruits, Somehow it's lighter. It's a lighter fragrance because of that heavy amount of musk kind of makes it light, I think. There are beautiful florals like uh, Lily of the Valley. There's some rose, I think. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a light fragrance. It's super sweet. It's daytime wear, actually. Spring, summer fragrance, I would say. Even though it's a gourmet fragrance. You can wear this in the warmer weather. Could wear this cold too, in cold weather too. Yeah, Stephanie de Brigitte de Lis. This one is Rosas de Jasmine with very affordable uh, fragrance. This has got loads of like beautiful fruity notes, kind of like tropically with that passion fruit note. A lot of like juicy fruity notes. There's peach even, there's pear even, like very juicy fruity uh, fragrance. Like I said, it's a tropical kind of fragrance. There's coconut in here, but there's a lot of vanilla in here. There's tonka bean and vanilla. The sweetness from passion fruit and other kind of fruits make it even sweeter. Um, summertime fragrance, but I would say summer nighttime fragrance. And then this one, Kana Candy Gloss. This one, you guys, I'm gonna have to spray because it's like a weird atomizer. This one is a cherry fragrance, you guys, but mostly to me it's a cherry blossom smelling fragrance more than cherry. There's cherry in here. There's no cherry blossom, but it smells more like cherry blossom to me than cherry. It's kind of a lighter, on the lighter side, you know, it's not too thick, no, not too dense. This has got other juicy fruity notes like peach, you know, which makes it also sweet, but a lot of vanilla in the base with benzoin and vanilla. And there are beautiful florals like orange blossom. There's a little bit of heliotrope, which adds a little powdery almondy quality to it. And yes, there's almond too in here, so it's like that cherry almond combination that everybody likes to do. I don't know, something about probably the floral notes in here or something that makes it sort of softer, more florally. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, it's more of a cherry blossom smelling fragrance to me. Cherry blossom, almond, vanilla type fragrance than cherry fragrance. Next, I have a white floral gourmet fragrance. This is... Uh, Azaro Wanted Girl, this one, I'm gonna have to spray because this has got a weird uh, atomizer. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful gourmet, very white floral dominant gourmet. This has Dulce de Leche, which makes it very gourmet, very sweet. It gives it like that toffee caramelly vibes, but at the same time lactonic milky vibes because it's dolce de leche you know oh, this has got a, a beautiful zingy ginger note in the opening with some juicy notes like pomegranate there's beautiful uh, white florals like orange blossom there's dutra in here absolutely stunning i think there's a little bit of pink pepper in the opening as well this has got uh, other than the dolce de leche this also has like tonka bean so a lot of like deep vanilla kind of scent in the base as well. Yeah, very much a gourmet, like a white floral gourmet fragrance. I would say more like a nighttime fragrance as well. It's not too thick, but I would still recommend it for nighttime. And all year round, I would say, but wear it at nighttime. Next, I have the Billie Eilish um, vanilla fragrance. This one, you guys, is 
definitely super sweet it's got sugar right in the opening it's got, got some red berries some mandarin orange lot of vanilla of course vanilla and tonka bean and there's amber in the base too uh, some other gourmet hints uh, from the cacao but very unnoticeably so i think very very kind of subtle the cacao you know floral notes of course like rose woody notes lots of musk um, but what makes it really sweet is that sugar right in the opening and of course the heavy amount of vanilla very sweet fragrance this is a uh, if you want like an easy like super sweet vanilla this is the one for you yeah some little bit of spiciness in it too but a little bit it's not like too complicated but it's like a sweet vanilla through and through like sweet vanilla uh, very much a uh, feminine fragrance now we're moving on to the honorable mentions uh, these are honorable mentions mainly because they've been discontinued or I don't really like them very much I have another very popular well-known I should say fragrance from Killian that's super sweet this is very unisex this one is Black Phantom by Killian this one is a very complex thick heavy dense gourmet definitely for fall time definitely definitely fall time fragrance this has got dark chocolate it's got it's kind of boozy from the rum it's very kind of boozy it's actually got straight up sugar which is where the sh the sweetness comes from it's got almond which adds to that gourmet quality it's got a little bit of heliotrope with that sort of almondy nuances and powderiness and there's actual almond in here too which adds to that gourmet vibes uh definitely a weird oh caramel did i mention caramel loads of caramel in this fragrance yeah it's the sugar and the caramel that makes this fragrance very sweet super super sweet fragrance killian black phantom another toothachingly sweet fragrance in my hands this is mancera roses fini oh my gosh this one is so sweet it actually literally has sugar and lots of it because it's right in the middle a lot of sugar like a bucket of sugar there's of course rose in here lots of vanilla oh actually there's sugar in the middle and in the base so it's like a bucket of sugar literally it's got some musk and all that but it's mainly vanilla and rose that's what you smell the most vanilla and rose and sugar the sweetness that's like the first thing you smell so sweet too thickly so I'm not a huge fan of this fragrance I gotta say because of the too thickly sweetness like the sweetness is a bit much kind of scratchy almost like this is a to me a little bit of a scratchy fragrance you know then I have Armani Code Satan this has a ginger with a beautiful zing this has juicy fruity notes like pear but then there's that super sweet notes like the praline the sorbet the vanilla very sweet fragrance there's lots of white florals neroli jasmine orange blossom it's unfortunately been discontinued this is a date night nighttime kind of fragrance if you can still get a hold of it then i have this one cancel elixir this one you guys is ridiculously long bottle it's powdery it's very sweet it's got fruity beautiful fruity notes like raspberry there's a lot of praline and vanilla in here which is what make it very 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 sweet florals like rose and orange blossom but lots of powdery notes too so it's a very sweet and powdery fragrance then you know about noir pour femme by tom ford super sweet fragrance this has got a lot of like sweet notes like uh, Kulfi which is a an, an ice cream like an, uh, a beautiful ice cream um, dessert type thing. It's very sweet. This has got loads of vanilla, uh, loads of amber. It's a very sweet fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a little balsamic too. Beautiful femme fatale type of gorgeous feminine fragrance unfortunately being discontinued and we got this one right here la nuit tresor on toes another cherry fragrance loads of rose and cherry in this fragrance very 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 sweet a lot of vanilla 
uh, which is where most of the sweetness comes from but then that cherry too it's kind of like a candy cherry very sweet fragrance nighttime go out party night out date night kind of fragrance so that's it you guys those are all the super sweet fragrances that I wanted to share with you I had over 30 fragrances here so there's something for everybody so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what kind of sweet fragrances that you love to wear down in the comment section I love hearing from you guys and it helps my analytics when you talk to me and it also helps me to know what you're thinking that way I can customize my content for you better you know what I mean don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ring the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload follow me on Instagram and TikTok now I just started TikTok I just haven't had much time to post you guys I need to do that anyway uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up I will see you guys in my next video